Boom. Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to clear out your inactive Twitter followers. Okay, so this is my Twitter account. And as you can see, it probably got built with a lot of uh, automated stuff way back in the day. Um, this is, uh, you know, following 27,000 and I have 23,000 followers. So when you go to your Twitter, you can kind of scroll down and see, and you, you know, what I noticed is there's a lot of people that might not even speak the same language. Uh, so Peruvian and, and Jamaican, uh, this is uh, Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Um, this guy, <laughs> bitch, follow me, uh, you know, just all this kind of nonsense, right? All right. So basically you can go and just click here and unfollow someone. Um, you can click on their profile, open it up and uh, see, this is obviously someone that's, um, you know, doesn't, uh, is not speaking English. Uh, maybe that's Indonesian or something. So you can unfollow them, but this is a long way to, uh, to do that. And then it's going to reboot here. So what you want to do is, uh, yeah, so this is uh, Arabic. Uh, so it's someone trying to, you know, get on uh, Justin Bieber, try to get some followers from that. So you can unfollow them that way. Uh, but I'm going to show you another way that you can, uh, that you can do it. Circle boom. Uh, this is something that you can use to unfollow for free and nice looking site here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log in and, um, authorize it with Twitter. It's going to take me back to the Twitter results. Okay. So and that was a pretty cool uh, screen. So what I did was I just came in here and it actually, you know, scanned all my followers and found a bunch of people that were, uh, uh, fake. Uh, so you can do that and it'll split people into, you know, friends, not following you back inactives, um, people that are 212s that are, that are talking too much, you know, so find your inner peace. So what you can do is you can click on that and then you can go and, uh, you know, scroll down here and look at some of these things. So that's, that's a, a kind of character that's not even English. So you can just go and, you know, unfollow. Um, and if you click it here, it'll just do a little pop-up and it will show you that this person is filtered as talking too much. Uh, still going to be goofy. No, not someone that I need to, uh, need to follow. Um, and it says talking too much. So these ones are all in the topic talking too much, uh, category. Now, again, you'll see that if the person has location, you'll be able to quickly scan that. So I can see that that's Russian. Um, that's in Russia. Uh, let's just pop up this one. So you can kind of unfollow this based on a bunch of different, um, bunch of different factors. So this one, you know, obviously, um, you know, mentioning Bieber in the tweet, like just, just garbage. I mean, there's so much garbage on, uh, on, on, on Twitter. So I don't speak Spanish. So Colombia, Paraguay, um, uh, Korean, um, Mongolia. What this is going to allow you to do is really, you know, kind of test layer. Um, so it's going to allow you to do that, but there's some other ways you can slice and dice your data that I think are, are, are pretty interesting. So you can go to this side and you can see, um, so not only can you see, you know, find followers and, you know, do hashtags and, and kind of grow your, your, your circle correctly, but you can unfollow, um, the ones that are, that are spam. So I actually took this out before the video. Um, there was about 30 that are, that are listed as spam, but there's also other ones. So eggheads are people that don't have a, a profile picture, right? So a lot of tweets for someone that doesn't have a profile picture. And, uh, this is just a, uh, stay at home marketer in the, uh, in the Philippines. So we're going to unfollow and you know, this one we're going to unfollow and you can, sort by the amount of tweets, right? So if you go to zero, um, you'll see these people that haven't even tweeted before. Um, so we can undo them. And that's one way to, uh, to do it. Uh, and inactives is another good way 
to follow so you can see these people that um, are inactive and they're labeled as, as inactive, right? Um, so based on the algorithm that they're looking at, all these people are uh, inactive. And as I was going through this before, I did see someone's here also, um, not following back, and then let's sort of buy uh, tweets again. I found some ones that actually came up as, um, even though it didn't it didn't say spam there, um, that they were uh, they were spam. There was a little 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 uh, tag came on uh, on there. So let's see if we can see that. Yeah, so talking too much. So yeah, definitely what I'd recommend is let's let's look at this one here. Um, so this one doesn't have any filters, but you know, an actor that doesn't even have a picture. Um, Republic Twitter. So these ones are all eggheads. So what you can do is, and you can see that you know a lot of these two are just like Moscow, you know, different languages. So you can unfollow all these uh, all these people. So some of them even said deactivated there. And what this is going to do is this is going to really clean up your Twitter account and, you know, allow you to uh, reach more people and to have, you know, a better profile because by following these people, particularly like people that are marked as spam and fake, that's going to actually reflect badly on you and it's going to affect your reach in Twitter. And so you're not going to be able to reach as many people. So what I would do is if you want to clean up your Twitter account, go to circle boom and uh, check it out and you know get rid of some of these people that you know aren't really adding value to you and in your community and you know get those inactives off twitter so this is one way to really get the inactives off your twitter list and help improve your reach help improve your your results using twitter all right guys hope you enjoyed the video we'll see you on the next one